Okay guys, welcome to the third video of this series and in this video we are going to create the login function and we are going to log in on Instagram using the web driver and Selenium. So uh, let's go to the code and this is the code where I left last time and uh, we have created, we have gone only on a simple website, uh, Instagram.com, but now we have to log in in the Instagram. So uh, first I'm going to put all of this code in a function, in a main function. So to create a function, we are going to use, uh, in Python we created it with def, and the, I'm going to call it main, and inside this function, we're gonna put all of this. And to put it inside the function, all we're gonna do is select all the code and press tab. And th this is going to put some spaces, and now we have inside the function. Okay, so, this is the setup of the bot and now we're gonna create the login. I'm going to put a comment here uh, where I can say login section so I can better understand the code and here we're gonna create the login part. Uh, during where when we create the bot here uh, you know to, to go to a website or something else uh, the bot uh, need, uh, needs some time to load the website and w so we have to wait after each actions we make and to wait uh, during the bot is running we can use the time and to import it we can import it from the top just in the top of the file type import uh, time we're gonna use time to do this so now we can type Time dot sleep to, to wait and we we can put here a number in seconds how many seconds we want so for now I'm gonna put three wait three seconds so just load the website and then wait for three seconds and then we are going to uh, go to login page I'm going to run the bot for now so I can get the X path and anything we need that I'm going to show you in a second so just type Python run dot UI in the terminal and the bot is going to open the browser okay so now we have to go to uh, to the login page we have to click this login button here uh, to click it we have to get the xpath of this button to get it just click on expect right click and uh, inspect I'm going to make this larger and now we have to click this tool the select element tool here on top let, let's make this a bit larger, okay. So now we have the selection tool and then we have to select this login button. So we just select it and here, here is the button. So just right click on it to get the path and click copy. Then copy xpath. So we need xpath for this. So just copy xpath. Now go back to code and here we're gonna click this xpath. So to click it, just first we're gonna find this element, so bot.find element, and this uh, here we have some options where we can find, but we need this uh, option where it says element by xpath. So just click on that, and uh, inside here, we have to paste the xpath. So just put some parentheses, and inside here, we have to paste xpath. So here is the xpath of the button and after finding it, so we found it, now we have to click it. And to click it, just type dot, click. So now it is going to click this button. So after clicking, we have to wait for one or two seconds. So it's better to wait. So time dot, dot sleep. I'm gonna put two seconds then what we're gonna do so then we are going to click on the username field type the username and then to click on the password field and type the password so go back to code and find this element again and uh, go back to the Instagram and now choose again the selection tool and click on the uh, input field of the username so just click on it and here is the input 
and right click copy and copy xpath again go back to code and now we can we can find this element I'm going to create a variable here so I'm gonna call it username field equal to bot bot that find element by xpath now here we can paste the xpath and here it is and now we're going to send in this uh, username field we, we are going to send the username and to send it just type username field dot send keys and here we have to type the username for now I'm going to put just a username just just to test it and then uh, we are going to create the JSON file where we're going to pick all the accounts information and everything for, but for now I'm gonna type just uh, my uh, username my page username okay and after typing that I'm gonna sleep for uh, one second for one second and then we are going to find the password fields so just create a password uh, field variable is going to equal to bot dot find element by xpath again and here we're gonna paste the xpath of uh, password fields so just click select password input copy and copy xpath go back to code and here we can paste the xpath of password field now we have to send the keys again so password field dot send keys and here we have to type our password okay so I'm gonna put my password here but I'm going to change it later so you can't get my password so my password now is testing uh, one two three four five six five nine okay so this is the password for now because I'm going to use this account to to log in and do all the bot and after uh, writing the password we have to click if, if we go back to the website of the Instagram after typing username and password here we have to click this login button and to click it just find the element uh, press selection and click the lem element and here is the button so in the button copy copy x path go back to code and now let's wait again for uh, for one second I'm gonna copy this then we have to click the button so bot dot find element by x path and here paste the x let me copy again because I lost it so copy and paste now dot click because we want to click this button okay so now it is uh, clicking the button and it will log in so I'm going to test this file if it's okay or not so but before running this I forgot something we have to call this function we created and I'm going to call this in the end of the file just here main just type main and this will call the function okay so now uh, let's uh, type in the terminal python run dot py okay let's see okay so it's working good but the browser is closed I think yes it's closed yeah because we didn't put some time here we have we had to put some uh, time to sleep here so time dot sleep we can sleep for mm, 12 seconds maybe okay let's run it again and see if it's going to log in or not okay so now we are logged in in the Instagram okay so this was the login part but as you can see here we are not getting an account from somewhere we are just put some 
uh, data here. But I'm going to create a JSON file where we can get the accounts information from. And to create the JSON file, just click on this new file here. Wait, but we need inside the VS Code. So click here in the space and new. So now we can put accounts. That JSON. Okay, so now we have this file here, and to use JSON in the Python, we have to import it. So just type import JSON. Okay, so now we have to get uh, information from account the JSON and to put in the our function. Okay, in the account the JSON, we're gonna type some uh, JSON uh, code here for our accounts. And to type some accounts, uh, we're gonna write this uh, uh, square brackets and curly brackets. And here we're gonna type username, username, and the first username is my username. And the password. is uh, testing okay so this was one account and if we want to add more accounts we could type comma and we, I'm going to copy and paste this okay so remove the last comma here because this will, will crash the file and here we can put another account so I'm gonna put my account here and the password I'm gonna I'm not going to put the password just for testing here so save the file and this is the JSON file where we're going to collect the account information we can close it now and here we are going to uh, loop through these accounts so for each bot it is going to run uh, with uh, specific information of the account and to do that first we have to load the data from the JSON and we imported JSON now we can uh, create a variable here on the top F open open accounts the JSON and don't forget to put a comma here just put a comma because this will crash if you don't put one and then uh, and then we're gonna create some a variable data equal to JSON dot uh, load F so it is going to load this JSON file okay now we have the data we need so I'm gonna use these data uh, to loop through accounts and uh, if I go back in the end of the script we have the main function here I'm going to loop uh, the accounts and run the, this function every time for each account so just create a for loop and for uh, wait let me call this datas for data in datas so change the data as here like I change it here so for for data in datas we're gonna run this function and what is inside these data is I'm going to put as a parameter in the function so I'm gonna put data here so these data are going will go to the main function and also I'm going to put data here so now we have data inside the function and we can use this to get the account information and here for example in the username field we can delete the uh, username here and we can use data uh, curly brackets and inside here we can type username to get the username and the same thing for the password to get the password okay so now it will loop through accounts and get for each of them it will get uh, the account information username and password and then it will log in for with each of them okay I'm going to put a bot dot close 
after we log in we I want to close the browser and go to the next account so hopefully this will work so I'm going to test it right now in the terminal python run dot py as always now let's see if this will work or not so we'll go to the login page and type the first username and password it will log in it now it will wait for 12 seconds because we, we put it here uh, 12 let's wait and now it closes the browser and open another browser it's open but it's not popping up okay it's here and now it will go to the next account but it will fail to log in because I didn't put my password okay so this is all we're gonna do on this video we put we implemented the login function and the account changing now and uh, we have everything ready in the next video we are going through the hashtag we're gonna scrape uh, everything we need we're gonna screw the recent post from the hashtags and uh, we can do all of that in the next video so uh, please click on the next video the fourth video below and I see you there goodbye